and welcome to Levon's Kitchen. Today I am in the kitchen making some red lobster copycat stuffed mushrooms. I love red lobster's mushrooms. You know I like seafood, so they have crab in them. So anytime I can get anything with some seafood in it, I just love it and I want to share it with you guys. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you my ingredients. So let's get to it. All right, first we have some button mushrooms. I've got to clean these because as you can see, they still have dirt on them. It'd be so nice if you can buy these and they already are clean. But anyway, I've got my salt and pepper, some garlic powder, and some Cajun seasoning. Now they asked for Old Bay um, in the recipe. And of course you can use Old Bay. I just like the Cajun seasoning. I have one egg, and a red pepper, I have some crackers. I have Ritz crackers. Um, it calls for oyster crackers, which basically is the same as a saltine cracker, but Ritz crackers are a little bit buttery, butterier. <laughs> so I, I like that buttery flavor when it has to do with crab. Um, so I'm gonna use Ritz crackers, okay? And when I put the recipe down in the description, I'll let you know you could use either or, okay? And I have some claw meat, some crab meat. It's just regular claw meat. I have a half a cup of water. And then last but not least, I have some celery and some green onions, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use my little mini um, food processor and start chopping up my vegetables and I'm going to go ahead and clean these mushrooms. So when you clean mushrooms, you take a damp paper towel and just wipe the dirt off. You don't run your mushrooms underwater. That will make them rubbery. So you just wipe them off. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and clean my mushrooms and I'll be back. And while I'm doing that, guess what I need you guys to do? That's right. Hit that subscribe button, go out there, like, hit the like button and share some of my videos. All right, so you do that, I'll do this and I'll be back. Okay, now that I've cleaned my mushrooms, what I wanna do is, these are called button mushrooms. That's your little button. You take it and take each side and twist and pull the button out, okay? So what I wanna do is take all the buttons out and then I um, sprayed me a pan with um, cooking spray. And so I'm going to put these on my pan. Sometimes these aren't the easiest things to get out. Sometimes you gotta dig it out of there. Especially if you stuff them, you want more room in there to put your stuffing in, okay? And you don't throw these away because that's still a piece of a mushroom. You want to use those. Sometimes you don't even have to twist it. You just pull it. Look at that. and my celery in my um, my little food processor. I'm gonna go ahead and blend those up because I want those to be extremely small. because, you see how small it is? Because the mushrooms are small, okay? So, I'm gonna take my um, bowl, put these in my bowl. Oh, before I do that, I'm gonna crack my egg in here. 
Let me grab my fork because I want to scramble that egg. What I'm doing is making my filling for my mushrooms. So we're going to go ahead and scramble that. We're going to pull all of our onions. That green one, look at that. It just didn't want to chop up. Look at that. <laughs> That's all right. All right. I'm going to put all of this in my bowl. Remember I put those crackers over there? I've got to crunch up those crackers because it's supposed to be similar to breadcrumbs. I'm going to crunch up all those crackers. Okay. I'm going to put a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper, and a pinch of garlic powder. I am going to my, um, let me open it. My Cajun seasoning, there we go. That's one little sprinkle of that. Like I said, you can use Obey. I just like to use Cajun seasoning. I'm gonna add my crab, crab meat. And I'll have all the, um, the amounts and everything down in the recipe, down in the directions. So if I don't mention all of those, I'm just gonna stir this up real well. Break up that crab meat. Make sure you use claw meat for this. You don't have to go out and buy no jumbo lump crab for this because it's all gonna be so small. Look at this, you're chopping it up anyway. You don't need that because jumbo lump crab meat costs more. It's all crab meat, but the jumbo lump costs more. So, next thing, I'm going to crumble up my crackers and we're gonna add those. When I gave the ingredients, if I told you about the cheese, I have a half a cup of um, shredded cheese. I don't think I told you that. It's one half cup. Because I'm going to mix that in there as well. I'm not going to mix all of it because I want to put just a couple pieces on the top of it. All right, these are almost done. And like I said, I wanted to use Ritz crackers because it gives it just a little bit more of a buttery flavor. You can do that if you want, or you can use the Red Lobster version. Remember, this is a copycat of Red Lobster's um, stuffed mushrooms. Okay, let me do that. There we go. All right. We're going to add our crackers. I'm gonna add the majority of our cheese. I may have to get some more cheese. Okay, and we're just gonna mix this all up. Kind of fold it all in there. wondered what was in their um, mushrooms because I love theirs. I have some more copycat recipes coming out for you guys. I want to do some Starbucks drinks copycat. Um, do some of those. Okay, so we've got that all mixed in and what I'm going to do now is just Go ahead and stuff my mushrooms. I wanna stuff them over the bowl so that in case any of the stuffing falls, it doesn't fall on my pan and burn when it's baking. So put it in there, smash it down, add a little more cheese on top. Smash it down, put it in there. Stick it in there. 
But you want it in all the way down in there. You don't want it just sitting on top. Put a little extra cheese on top. See? So I'm gonna go ahead and fill these and then I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my oven to 300. I'll be right back, you guys. All right, so here we go. I got them all ready. And I made a mistake, you guys. I said I was gonna preheat the oven to three something. It's supposed to be 400. So it's at 400. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in here for 20 minutes. And in 20 minutes, we're gonna have something so good that Red Lobster can't compete with us. No, it's gonna taste just like Red Lobsters. <laughs> Might taste better. Remember, I did make a couple of changes, so it's okay. I'll be back. All right, everybody, 20 minutes are up. I'm gonna take our mushrooms out of the oven. Ooh, they smell good. Ooh, hot, 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 you guys, hot, 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 hot. Ooh, look at that, look at that, yes. Oh, ooh, hot, hot. <laughs> Let me put those down, let those cool for a minute. Remember, I told you um, the stems of those that were left, don't throw them away, use those. So there's different things you can use these for. So say for instance, um, you know my how to make gravy from scratch video? And I told you there's different things you could add, like you could add mushrooms. You could definitely chop these up and add those to that uh, gravy. So if you haven't seen that video, go out there, watch that video. And if you want mushroom gravy, just either add some mushrooms or if you have leftover mushrooms, go ahead and put them in there. But for right now, I want one of these. Ooh. Ooh, I'll cut it in half. Maybe that'll help it cool off. That's how I'm gonna cut that in half. And then I'm gonna cut that in half, because this is a big one. <laughs> so I figure if I cut it into fours, it'll help it to cool off a little. Mm. Look at how much stuff is, was in this mushroom. Look at that. It's, it's a lot of stuffing i stuffed them good you make sure you push it down in the mushroom and then you make a little heel on top like a little mound so that you have it in there and it's on top so that when you're biting it you're getting all that stuffing oh look at that heat i mean the smoke is hot but i want to taste it oh it's got cheese you know when you eat anything with cheese in it and it's hot that cheese will hold that heat and it will burn, so you guys be careful. I just um, did another video of, with some stuffed jalapeno peppers. It was stuffed with cheese and sausage, and jalapenos are usually hot, so I had to give a safety tip on that, but I have to give you my safety tip on my cheese. You guys make sure you watch that video as well. All right. Mmm. Oh my goodness. So the celery gives it a little bit of a crunch. If you remember that from Red Lobster. Ooh, the crab is so good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And then the cheese. Like I said, I put cheese on top too. I like them cheesy. Ooh, look at that. Look at all the cheese. <laughs> and crab. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh yeah. Who gonna go to Red Lobster? I ain't trying to, you know, put nobody down, but you know how much these things cost in Red Lobster? I make these things at home. You have a whole lot more, a whole lot cheaper, and you can make some changes and make them a whole lot better. <laughs> Don't tell nobody I said that, especially nobody from the, that restaurant. These are so good, oh my goodness. These are good appetizers. I made a lot of them, heck, I can make a meal out of that. Oh, I'm just eating. I'm sorry. And, and y'all can't have none, so I'm not going to just sit here and eat this in front of y'all. I'm going to put this down for right now, and I'm going to eat this in a few minutes. So for right now, thanks for joining me, and guess what? I'll see you next time in the kitchen. Bye!